you know, for those of us in the in the industry for a while, you know what what people mean when they say, "Well, you know, he's a runner or she's a runner." We know what runners are, and there's there's truck drivers and then there's steering wheel holders. Well, there's truck drivers and then there's runners, and these runners will get out of they'll do six and seven hundred miles a day. You know, they're driving for nine, ten sometimes the full 11 hours but they get it from point A to point B they get it there quickly and expeditiously and safely and it's just my opinion but I would think that when you when you're a trucking company and you have drivers that meet that criteria you know they're reliable you 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 have confidence in them they're going to get the load on time they're going to deliver it on time if there's a delay, they're going to let you know as soon as they know that there's going to be a delay, whether it be a breakdown or whatever. And I would think that, you know, those would be the drivers that companies would want to make certain that they keep within their organization. And they don't let them go so easily. But the problem is, from my perspective, there's a lot of empty promises being made, whether it's company drivers, whether it's lease purchase guys or owner operators is leasing on with a carrier. I think a lot of these carriers are lying and saying, well, you know, you can, you can expect to get 2,000 to 2,500 miles a week. And then in reality, the drivers are getting, you know, 12, 15, 1,600 miles a week, sometimes 18. And then, you know, other times they're, oh, we'll get 2,500 to 3,000 miles a week. And then, you know, same scenario, the driver winds up getting significantly less than that. And if you have drivers that are quality drivers and they're performing consistently, I would think that you'd work your ass off to keep those people in-house. And by doing that, that means giving them the miles that you tell them that they can expect and giving them those miles consistently day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, over and over and over again. Yeah, because they're the ones, they're the workhorses for your organization. They're the ones that's performing consistently. They're reliable, they're dependable, they communicate well, so, why is it that so many companies let these kind of drivers go rather than keeping them, will you go please, rather than keeping them happy and keeping them within their organization? There's too many trucking companies out here that look at drivers of all shapes and sizes of all levels of experience. They look at drivers as a renewable resource, a very re easily replaceable commodity. But good drivers, experienced drivers, safe drivers that are going to get out and get from point A to point B as quickly as they can, as safely as they can, uh, those drivers are hard to come by. You know, and Whenever you tell drivers that you can expect X number of miles a week and then they might get those kind of miles once in a while, but most of the time they fall short of those kind of miles, you're not going to keep them very long, especially, especially whenever you want to lie to them and tell them things like, well, you know, things are slow right now or the market is crap right now. It doesn't take Einstein to figure out, you know, Johnny over here, he's working for company X, and I'm doing as many miles as he is in a week, and he's bringing home more money than me. I'm going to go over there. You know, uh, or if, you know, someone else is recruiting your driver, there's recruiters that are going to truck stops. And 
to try to strike up a conversation with the driver. So I would think that these companies would want to keep those, those better drivers happy by keeping them loaded and rolling all they want. There's guys who want out here who want to be home every night or every weekend. There's guys who will be out here for two or three weeks at a time. Uh, before they go home. There's guys and, and women too who will be out here for six, seven, eight weeks at a time before they go home. And they don't get treated any better than the mediocre drivers. You know, those that are classified as a steering wheel holder. You don't get, get any more miles than them. You don't get uh, any kind of bonuses or perks, anything like that. You want to keep your people happy, you need to show them that you appreciate what they do for you. And part of that is don't shortchange them on what they expect to be earning. This is just my opinion. You know, I could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. It's a possibility. So you guys be safe. Take care.